Welcome to Hollywood Cafe's Star of the Week. I'm your host, Amanda Blackman. There's something about Ginger Rogers playing this little girl falling down a rabbit hole. I just find it completely charming. Ginger Rogers, the legendary American actress, singer, and dancer, was truly a force to be reckoned with in the entertainment industry. With her impeccable talent and undeniable charm, she captivated audiences around the world and left an indelible mark on Hollywood history. From her iconic partnership with Fred Astaire to her impressive solo career, Ginger Rogers wowed audiences both on the stage and on the screen. But there was so much more to this talented performer than meets the eye. Ginger Rogers was born on July 16th of 1911 in Independence, Missouri. From a young age, she displayed a natural talent for performing arts. She's best known, of course, for her incredible partnership with Fred Astaire. Together, Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire lit up the silver screen with their mesmerizing dance routines in classic films like Top Hat and Swing Time. These films showcase their incredible dance chemistry and help to solidify them as one of Hollywood's most iconic on-screen duos that ever existed. Ginger Rogers had an extensive filmography outside of the films that she did with Fred Astaire, though. She was not only an exceptional dancer, but also a talented actress and a singer. She displayed her acting skills in both dramatic and comedic roles across various genres. Additionally, she showcased her vocal abilities in musicals and recorded several successful albums throughout her career. She won an Academy Award for her dramatic role in Kitty Foyle in 1940. This is one of my classic all-time favorite films, and not just because it's Ginger Rogers. If you haven't seen the movie, definitely give it a watch. But this established her as a versatile actress beyond her dancing abilities. She was the highest paid actress in Hollywood in 1942. Last time I talked about Barbara Stanwyck, who was the highest paid actress in 1944. So Ginger Rogers' popularity and talent made her one of the most successful actresses of her time. She was an accomplished singer. She showcased her vocal prowess in films like Carefree in 1938, where she sang the memorable song, The Yam. She starred in over 70 films throughout her career. And her filmography is a testament to her versatility and dedication to her craft. Her birth name was Virginia Catherine McMath. She adopted the stage name Ginger Rogers early in her career, but she began her career as a dancer in vaudeville. Ginger Rogers honed her dancing skills in the rigorous world of vaudeville before transitioning to the silver screen. She was an accomplished stage actress too. She received critical acclaim for her performance in Broadway productions such as Hello Dolly and Mame. She was known for her effortless grace and elegance on the dance floor, and her impeccable dancing skills and chemistry, of course, with Fred Astaire, made them such a beloved on-screen couple. She had a successful career beyond the age of 40, which at the time was not that common. She continued to act in films and television shows, proving that talent knows no age limits. Just recently, I saw a clip of her dancing on the Lucille Ball show in the 1970s. Ginger Rogers was married and divorced five times. Her tumultuous personal life added a layer of complexity to her public persona. 
She was a fashion icon of her time too. Ginger Rogers' glamorous style and impeccable taste influenced the fashion trends of the era. She was respected as a businesswoman too. She managed her own career and she made shrewd business decisions that contributed to her success. She was a dedicated supporter of various charitable causes as well. Ginger Rogers actively used her fame and fortune to make a positive impact on society. She received the Kennedy Center honors in 1992. This prestigious award recognized her significant contributions to the arts. She published her own autobiography, Ginger, My Story, in 1991. In the memoir, Ginger Rogers shared intimate details about her life and career. I'm going to have a link to that book in the show notes. Definitely check it out. Ginger Rogers was known for her quick wit and her sense of humor. Her infectious personality and sharp one-liners made her a beloved figure both on and off the screen. One of my favorite movies that really shows her comedic timing and wit is Monkey Business with Cary Grant. Ginger Rogers showcased her versatility by successfully venturing into singing, dancing, and acting. And of course, as I've already mentioned, her voiceover work. Her legacy continues to inspire future generations of performers. Her talent, determination, and groundbreaking career have left an enduring impact on the entertainment industry even now. She passed away on April 25th of 1995 at the age of 83 years young. Her remarkable contributions in the world of entertainment will always be remembered and cherished by so many people, not just me. Do you want to hear that record now? At least a little of it. I don't want Disney to get upset with me. All I could think of is I fell down the rabbit hole. And now I suppose you're wondering how I happened to get into a rabbit hole. Well, it's really very simple. I was sitting in the garden and just beginning to doze off when all of a sudden a rabbit with pink eyes ran right alongside of me. Now, there's nothing very remarkable about that. But I did jump a little when I heard him say to himself, Oh, dear, oh, dear. I shall be very wait. I shall be terribly wait. Then he took a watch out of his waistcoat pocket and looked at it. Five o'clock. I'll never be there in time. Never. I jumped to my feet and followed him. He popped down a large hole into the hedge, and without even wondering how I was to get out again, I popped down after him. That's how I got into the rabbit hole. Down, 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 down. Falling through the air, through the air. Of course, this is all just a dream. It couldn't really happen. I couldn't be falling so far and half so slowly. Will this fall never come to an end? Oh, it did. The fall was over and I wasn't hurt a bit. I looked around and there in front of me was a little table made of solid glass. There was a bottle on it with a label that said, Drink me. Drink me? Hmm. Well, it doesn't seem to be marked poison, so I'll try it. Hmm. Sort of a mixed flavor. Cherry tart, custard, pineapple, roast turkey, and um, hot buttered toast. Very nice. Oh. Oh, what a curious feeling. Something's happening. I'm opening up like a telescope. Going tall and tall. And, oh, I'm getting much too tall. Much. My feet are almost out of sight. Goodbye, Fee. Who put on your shoes and stockings for you now, poor Fee? I'm sure I won't be able to. I'll be too far away. Well, I've stopped growing. Things are all very queer today. I don't believe seem to be the same person at all. I wonder if I still know all the things I used to know. I'll try to say, how doth the little? Now, let me see. How doth the little crocodile improve his shining tail? And pour the waters of the Nile on every golden scale. How cheerfully he seems to grin, how neatly spreads his claws. 
And welcomes the dovefishes in with gently smiling jaws. I'm sure those aren't the right words. They don't sound like anything I've ever heard before. And I certainly don't look like I ever looked before. Why, well, I must be 10 or 11 or 50 feet high. Oh, there's the little white rabbit again. Oh, the Duchess, the Duchess. She'll be terribly angry if I've kept her waiting. She'll have me executed as sure as wabbits are wabbits. How do you do, Mr. Rabbit? Oh, oh, oh. Wait, uh, I won't hurt you. Don't run away. Oh, oh dear. I suppose I frightened him. Oh, something's happening again. Curiouser and curiouser. I'm shutting up. I'm growing smaller and smaller. Oh, I'm sure I'm not going to like this. It might end in my going out altogether like a candle. Yes, here I go. I'm going out. I'm going out. Oh, my chin just hit my foot. Do you have a favorite actor or actress you'd like to see me doing one of these videos on? Tell me in the comments. Mm-hmm.